Okay. So I'm going to share my screen. Just give me a moment here. And then let me bring up PowerPoint. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Oh, you can see me, okay. <laughs> Should I mute myself or no? Yes, please. Okay, sure. Sorry about that. That's okay. Okay, can you see that, um, that slide? If somebody could give me maybe a... Yes, we can see it. Okay, good. Thanks very much. Okay, so this is MGTS 107 Business Computing. I'm your professor, Randy Jenny. Um, so first of all, um, some people ask whether or not they can use a, a Mac to, to uh, do this course. Um, so this course is based on Office 365. So the, the smoothest path through the course is to use a PC. Uh, the simulations are based on Office 365 for PC. And most of the videos are based on Office 365 for PC. Um, the second smoothest path through the course is to use a Mac and you can achieve just as high a grade um, because Mac uh, Office 365 for Mac is almost the same um, as Office 365 for the PC. And all the assignments and exams can be done on a Mac. So one of the things, one of the big things that is different uh, for you folks is um, this course will be run on, um, on something called Meskinas. So we will not be using Blackboard for this. So instead we'll be using something called Pasquali Mostos Mescanas, which means Buffalo Trail or Bison Path. So I will commonly refer to it as just Mescanas. Uh, the name was gifted to us by our Indigenous Knowledge Keepers. And this is how we are going to brand our Moodle digital learning environment. So basically, you, you folks are the first students to be using uh, our new uh, DLE, uh, which is based on Moodle. Uh, what we're going to do, how things are going to look. I'm hoping um, I can get to a little bit of an introduction. It's what I call law in the real world. Um, so just a reminder to mute yourselves, please. So the way you get to uh, Meskinas is from the portal. Um, you click on support and my courses, which will bring up this window. And your Blackboard courses will show up here. And your Meskinas course, there should only be probably one of them, will show down here. So um, up until uh, yesterday, you had to click on this link to get to Mes uh, Meskinas and find your courses. But as of yesterday, when the term started, um, you can now click on the individual course that you want. So um, about communication. So um, the way it works is um, you can use something called quick mail in Meskinas. And what that will do is send an email to me at my um, mcewan.ca account. So my regular email. Then if I hit reply, it will go back to your um, your mail at McEwen, which is based on Gmail. And if we reply back and forth, it'll just go back and forth between those two um, mail, um, mail clients. When you do send an email, I'm gonna ask that you use a proper subject line, that you use upper and lowercase, that you use punctuation, a please and thank you is always nice, and that you spell check it. So if you're, if you're used to texting, 
uh, please think of email as a somewhat higher and more professional uh, mode of communication. So I really enjoyed teaching this course. I hope that that will show. Um, the overall goal, goal of the course is that you become familiar with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, file management, and with the computer in general. So hopefully that will happen. Um, in terms of expectations, um, academic dishonesty is, um, is a, a, a concern or a, um, something we need to talk about. So um, you need to do your own work. So uh, when you download files that you're going to work on, they need to be your files. You need to work on them and submit them. If, um, if that happens in that manner, uh, we won't have any problems. But if your friend says, I didn't have time to do the assignment, can I borrow your file? You need to just say no. If, if someone offers you their file, you also need to say no. Don't even give them the start file um, because I can tell if they started with your file rather than your own. Um, and even if they just say, can I have yours to have a look at, uh, you need to still say no. So there are no group assignments in this course. It's not acceptable for two students, two or more students to hand in a file and say, we worked on it together. So, how, however, let me try to define this uh, even more. If, if you're sitting beside your friend and you're both working on your, your uh, copy of the assignment and you want to chat back and forth and continue to work on your own file, that's fine. But don't, uh, don't give them your file, don't ask for their file, that kind of thing. Um, so almost every semester I turn in students for academic dishonesty. So don't let that be you, okay? <clears throat> so, Thank you. Uh, please make sure you're muted. So to get, <laughs> the, to get going in the course, uh, you need to go to the setup assignment, then the practice assignment, then there's some videos to watch, etc. And I'm going to walk you through uh, the beginning of that. So I'm just going to bring up the course outline because that's what we usually do as profs. So here's the course outline. Uh, there's two sections I'm teaching, so don't panic if this is not uh, your section number. The course outlines are pretty much identical. Um, so uh, we're gonna start the course online. So for the first month, at least, we're going to be purely online uh, because I'm not uh, that convinced that, uh, that we can all uh, return to class altogether safely. And this course works really well as an online course. Um, so I will have office hours, but probably the best thing to do is just email me and irrespective of whether it's within my office hours or outside of my office hours, I will respond quite quickly and we'll set up an audio or a video chat if you need help with something. Okay, I've just mentioned the class is online till the end of September. Um, learning outcomes you can read. Basically, we're gonna learn Word, Excel, PowerPoint and file management. Um, you do need to purchase My Lab IT. And the best place to do that is in the bookstore. And uh, that's spelled out in the setup assignment. Um, the course breakdown is there. I think I'm going to pause there for a minute and just take any questions. So go ahead and unmute yourself and ask any questions that you have so far. Um, so for the lab IT, yep. so we just have to go to like um, the M store and ask for it or something? Like that. You can either go in person and typically they have them behind the counter in a little folder, or you can go to the online bookstore and look up um, um, MGTS 107 and you'll find it there as well. Okay. So then we can just like do it later then, hey? Yeah, you don't have to do it right this minute or anything like that, but it is um, having that My Lab IT 
um, becomes part of the setup assignment. So you do need it as you start um, start into the course content. Okay, so thank you so much. Okay, are there other questions? Uh, yes, I have a, a question. I'm just uh, uh, looking at uh, what's on the screen right now, and uh, we might deal with it sooner, but um, or sooner or later. But with the file management capstone, when I looked into the calendar, um, I only found an it's saying assignment. Is the capstone uh, the assignment, or is there yeah, something else? I, uh, that's my bad. I I um tried to be consistent with how I named it, and it looks like I've I've failed a bit. That's the same thing. Okay. So I'll try Perfect. to be uh, consistent in how I name it. I'll just make Thank a little you. note for myself. Yeah, and that's just in the in the calendar um, when we go into the. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a few places you can find it. If you um, if you click on the little um, expanding triangle in file management, you'll see it there as well. Okay, sounds okay. good. Thank you. Other questions? What would uh, what would it need to happen for us to have class in person? Um. Well, if um, if cases start going down again, because I think they've been going up recently. Um, so uh, yeah, if cases started to go down and stayed down, um, then uh, I would reconsider it. Okay, thank you. Thanks. So then there would be a chance like for the whole semester, this class would be an online course. It's, it's possible, yeah. Um, um, Yes, I, I, I'm just going to kind of keep watch on how the situation unfolds. And so you said for now, it's so going to be just like for a month for now? I'm going to go till at least the end of September, and then I will let you know um, what I decide going forward from there. Okay, sweet. Okay. Other questions? Okay, good. Um, so basically all the assignments have to be in by 11.59 p.m. Um, ten, I take 10% off for per day for assignments that are late. And I've got it set up so the computer does that kind of automatically for me. So um, yeah, most of the assignments are not weighted too heavily. So if you do lose 10%, on a 1% assignment, uh, just, you know, take, take responsibility for that. And nobody, nobody really dies for 10% on a 1% or, or a 3% assignment. Um, you can read all the rest of this on your own, I think. So I'm, a, I'm required to put this schedule into my course outline, but it's really not the best place to go looking for the uh, critical dates. So with that, I'm going to shift over to, okay, so here's a, um, I'm logged in as a student now. And so if I was a student, I would go to support. I would go to my courses. There's my, uh, my one course. So I can either click on that. If this was prior to yesterday, I would have had to go to, uh, to this link. But now I can go to this link. It should take me in here to the course. <clears throat> now, in, in the course, there are some items up here that will be here for the whole term. So announcements from the prof, discussions. And I'm not sure whether people will actually use discussions. I'm going to see. Because I don't have any assignments based on, on discussions. You're not required to put anything in there. But I just thought I would add it in case people said, you know, I'm stuck on step six of, of assignment two. Uh, anybody have any, any ideas around that? Um, and and they might, you might be able to help each other. Okay. Uh, collaborate is what we will use as a video conferencing tool. Um, I just used... Um, I just used Zoom this morning because I had two classes 
uh, that I wanted to invite, and I wasn't sure of the of how to do that uh, in collaborate because it tends to be specific to one course or one section. Uh, my lab and mastering tools will be where you go in to complete a lot of the assignments uh, and the exams. And really, you guys can jump down into setup and practice and go start going through overview, professor, etc. And you'll get to the setup assignment. In the setup assignment, there are instructions whether you're using a Mac or Windows 10 or Windows 11. So I happen to be working on a Mac right now. So I'll just open that so you can have a quick look. Oh, and it looks like I, I started the meeting way too early. So uh, we've got 10 minutes left in this meeting. So there's the, there's the um, assignment, if I, if I just open it one second. Okay, and let me change it. Put the window down there. So the setup assignment has pretty detailed and step-by-step -step instructions but you do have to purchase my lab IT in order to get going. So that's kind of a quick uh, introduction to the course. Um, I think I'll, I'll stop there and just take any other questions that you have. Um, so what we just went through earlier, can I find, will I be able to find out on Blackboard? Um, the, the PowerPoint I will post to Blackboard um, shortly after this meeting. Okay, sweet. Good. So please would the, would the not be sent to this particular site? I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. Like would then this course outline, can I get it from this site or I don't know? Yes. Oh, okay. Right. So if you go back to... Um, and what about your, do you have slides of notes for us to read? No, there is almost no reading in the course. You read the overview oh, and then practical. you... And then you will do a simulation, and then you will okay. do a, what's called a grader, generally. Okay. As a, so once we get into the the the, um, the sort of meat of the course, for example, in Excel, you will do a simulation on my lab. Then you will do a grader on my lab. So the only reading really is on is in the overview. So the course is based on is based on practical. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's very much practical, not theoretical. So there is very little reading to do. It's very hands-on. Other questions? Yeah, I have a quick question. Um, sure. I can't seem to find that section to be the coursework. All I'm seeing is Blackboard and all the other side menu options. Can you show how to get there again, please? Sure. You Sorry. don't go into Blackboard. You go to support. Oh, support. Okay. That's and my courses. Huh? And then you get to Okay, this thank screen. you so much. Good. I have a, a question as well. Sure. Um, so... I thought the course was asynchronous. So are we allowed to work ahead if we if we have finished an assignment or should we go at the at the pace of the suggested uh, dates there for the... You can absolutely work ahead. The only time you actually have to be um, kind of synchronous with me is on days that have exams. Okay, sounds good. 
Thank you. So um, you really want to be uh, looking at this calendar. So the calendar is really the best place to be able to see all the things that are coming up. So there's the setup assignment, the practice assignment. Then there's some videos to watch. Then there's the file management assignment and the file management exam. And then are we, we start... going to have a uh, are we going to have a talk before the exam? So that, that exam, for example, um, is, is it that, or will everything just kind of be in the course? Will that be good enough? Are we going to have um, another uh, meeting like this? We certainly could have a meeting like this, um, but let me just show you what I have for you under Excel. So, um, toward the end of Excel, I've I've got an exam study list. Mm and exam details and study tips, okay. and then, uh, then the exam itself. Okay, that's helpful, thank you. Okay, and lots of videos to watch okay. as needed. Other questions, comments? Um, I don't... Will, we, will we be meeting, like, will we have lectures every Tuesday, Thursday? Oh, no. Okay. No, I'll be in front of my computer if, if you need me, but uh, mostly, uh, mostly you can uh, just work work at your own pace and uh, and work ahead if you want. Okay, so we'll just communicate with you through email then. Right. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, uh, I have one question. Do we need to do the practice assignment before doing actual assignment? No. It's called a practice assignment because it has you practice the skills of attaching files yeah. and submitting an assignment. Okay. But it's, but it's not worth any marks. It's just to make sure that you understand the mechanics of, of okay. submitting something. So that when you get to the file management assignment and the file yeah. management exam, you're not struggling yeah. with that. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Anyone else? Any other questions? Um, I have a question, if you don't mind. Sure. For the exams, how exactly are they going to work? Uh, since you said we'll have to, is it just at a certain time that we have to do them? Yeah, I mean, this depends whether you are in my Tuesday, Thursday class or whether you're in my online class. Um, and I, I'm still kind of waiting to see. I mean, if it's possible that the, face-to-face -face class will have a face-to-face -face exam in a classroom if, uh, if COVID is behaving itself. Uh, the online students, it's possible that they will write in the exam center or it's possible that they will write from home. So I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to make those decisions to see how COVID is by the end of September. Okay, thank you. Okay. Other questions? Okay, and if, you, uh, if you're feeling a little shy about doing questions in, um, in front of everybody, feel free to just email me after and we can have a quick um, video or voice meeting um, to uh, make sure you can get started in the course well. Anything else? Okay. Well, if there are no other questions. Uh, oh, I see a few questions in the in the chat. So maybe I'll uh, let's see, what if we ask our parents for some help or to ask them to review to see if it's good to submit? Uh, I would say try to keep that kind of to a minimum because um, actually the um, most of the assignments in the course, you can submit them 
get feedback on what you did wrong and fix your errors and submit them again as many times as you want. So you should be pretty self-sufficient and you shouldn't uh, need a lot of outside help. Okay, anything else? Okay, so feel free to um, email me if you need uh, some additional help or if you have